Diesel prices are hovering around all-time highs right now. The cost is hurting the trucking industry as drivers struggle to get goods across the country. According to AAA, the average cost of diesel fuel stands at more than $5.60 a gallon. That's up more than $2 from this time last year. Truckers and small business owners say they are spending hundreds of dollars more than they were last year to fill up. The financial pinch is hitting Michael Nicholson. He is the co-owner of The Moving Squad, and he joins us now. Michael, thanks so much for joining us. Just to start, set the stage for us. How much more are you spending to fill up your trucks? Uh, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate the, the time here. Um, you know, uh, I was averaging, you know, on a weekly basis, uh, say, this time last year, um, you know, anywhere from 24 to, you know, $2,700 a week in, 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 in costs for, for diesel and, and gas. I have, I have both, uh, trucks now. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's up more than a hundred percent. Wow. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah. I had a two week bill last week of $6,800. So it's certainly something uh, that we're having to, to deal with, negotiate, and try to, try to figure out how to keep moving forward. It's an incredible amount of money and an incredible jump from, from last year. According to VanLines.com, federally regulated moving tariffs prevent moving companies from passing many additional costs over to consumers. How is this affecting your bottom line as a business owner? Uh, I would say the my only saving grace is that is that I own my equipment. Um, uh, I ride ten percent uh, diesel diesel surcharge into my tariff instead of being on the outside of my tariff. So I am handcuffed. I can't I can't raise my rate one penny up or one penny down. You know my rate is my rate no matter what's happening. But I am in the in the process now of of getting my tariff amended so that uh, I can put the uh, fuel surcharge on the outside of my tariff, which will allow me to then help to kind of recover some of those costs. More than 120,000 people are employed by the moving industry in the U.S. How are rising gas prices impacting your employees? Uh, I will say, you know, finding employees is, is certainly still still a major challenge for us. Uh, we could probably use at least another 12 more. But um, it certainly makes, uh, you know, wanting to be able to give them raises, to be able to pay them more, to pay bonuses, that, that money is all going now to, uh, to just paying for, for diesel and gas. And then, of course, along, along with those two, two, two numbers, you also still have the maintenance, uh, which is jumping up just as much as, as just the same. The pandemic must have been, must be a, a really busy time for you. So many people have moved. What options do you have to deal with the rising costs of diesel? There aren't many options, to be honest with you. Um, you know, short of uh, just trying to find better ways, better routes. Uh, you know, as far as I have idle timers in all my trucks now where I didn't used to. Um, uh, just being smarter with the trucks, being, you know, more more intentional as far as with the miles that we drive. And uh, just just trying to hold on. Michael, I have to say, I imagine like many people watching, I had no idea just how much it does cost to fill the trucks of the size that you're working with. With these challenges and these gas prices, are you worried at all that you could lose your business if things don't soon change? Oh, that certainly is something, you know, my partner and I, Tim, uh, and we're doing everything we can. One of the reasons I was running behind today, I had to jump on a crew. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, just, you know, Tim and I are certainly, uh, I mean, you know, we're, we're here to do everything we can for our guys and for our customers and, you know, for our families and for all our guys' families that are with us. Just keep me a second. Um, but uh, you just got to keep working. You got to keep trying. This is your livelihood, and I can see it's so emotional for you. And I know so many of us are grateful to companies like yours. Um, anything else you'd like to say, Michael? Anything we can do to help you, to help your company? Prayers of peace, prayers of joy, prayers of uh, just being able to stay the course. Um, you, know, I, you know, I certainly, you know, 
to tell a lot of people out there, you know, you know, as far as when choosing a moving company, you know, there's fly by nights out there. There's ones that aren't doing the right thing. You know, please protect yourself. Cause there's a lot of us out here that are still doing the right thing, still charging fair rates, not, not trying to gouge people and, uh, you know, just send some, some positive thoughts, you know, and, uh, we'll just keep moving forward. Michael, wishing you the best. Thanks so much for your time today. I know you're so busy. Thank you. Thank you very much.